Hello guys, it's just here. how are you doing? And this video is addressing the legacy mode beta changes and these changes are mostly related to the old animations, the way you run, the way you use your special attacks, the way you react when you're hit by your opponent, many many different updates in terms of uh, how you hold your weapons as well and your items and they seem to have fixed the process in which you're switching your weapons. There is now minimal delay when you're switching between your items, uh, when you really need to get that quick special attack out when your opponent's on low life points. So I thought I'd make this quick brief overview of the different animations which I've noticed and the ones which personally, you know, I would see most PKs using on a melee versus melee PK fight. And this is me versus Chaotic Binky. He's a good friend of mine and a big shout out to you, mate, for helping me out with this and gaining the footage for the viewers. And to conclude this video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing your comments from my previous Legacy Mode beta video, where I asked you to write down some constructive thoughts and opinions on whether you think Legacy Mode is ready for the live game. So I'm just going to go into a small thing in terms of what I believe should be changed and fixed. As you can see, I've got the dual drag or long swords on tier 90 weapons. And it looks like I'm crippled and I can't walk properly when I've got them wielded. I mean, even when you're standing still, they look so awkwardly placed and uncomfortable that it, it just doesn't look right. And I think Jagex need to fix that for sure. Um, I don't know what went on there, but yeah, they are extremely long indeed. Um, and they need to be changed. Also, the prayer icons, I believe, they've tried to go back to the old style prayer icons. But they're not quite the old style prayer icons. They've essentially almost created brand new ones. Now, completely disagree with this again. I feel like the either stick with the very old prayer icons with the soul splits or stick with the new icons. But now onto the Dragon Claw spec. And this was a legendary special attack back in the day. And I think they are starting to bring it back now, especially in PK. With two wipes of the Dragon Claw special attack, as you can see here from Chaotic Binky upon myself. He's literally wiped down almost my full life points. Um, so they are very, very effective now in PK. And I'll say a large influence on that is because of the lack of special ability bar that it actually takes to use the attack. And that's very, very useful, especially if you have an adrenaline potion, which now if you're unsure in PvP, it actually boosts up your special attack bar. And if it's the same as the EOC, you can use that adrenaline dose once every two minutes. Now also looking at the old school fights, the whip vine, uh, you may not be using the whip vine, but let's say just the standard Abyssal Whip with a Dragon Defender. Now the animations which you get are going back into the day now in terms of where you'd take a step back like you just saw me do there when you're defending with that Dragon Defender in your offhand uh, weapon slot. And I think that animation is actually pretty cool. It, it does uh, work in line with the whole name of the weapon and how you are going into a defensive stance. So I've got to admit, I do actually like that animation. Also, the way you hold your god swords now and the stance you have with the AGS, as you saw there, is just really OOP, even with normal hits. I mean, hitting like 375 plus 400 plus, which is equal to 4,000 in the EOC. And that's genuinely with like an auto attack. So it's pretty cool. Very, very powerful uh, in PvP, that is. Uh, now, when you look at the way you hold your god sword as well, it has changed rather than having it up on your shoulder. Even when you're out of combat stance, uh, you will have it now held in front of you. That may not be as realistic, however, it's gone back to the nostalgic feeling of the way you used to hold your god swords. As you can see here, Binky is absolutely ripping me to shreds with that AGS. Uh, on 69 life points there, pretty insane. But we decided to go into a Darax versus Darax only fight. And the reason for this is due to the update, we wanted to try out the special Darax set effect, which is called the Wretched Strength. And this set effect has always been there. However, when the Legacy Beta first came out, it wasn't working correctly. And this set effect essentially um, provides you with additional strength and damage output when the wielder's life points is lower. So as you'll see as the battle commences, it becomes even more intense. We are really getting involved into this PK fight. I've got to admit, Darax fights are actually quite fun. Um, I don't know how I'd find it if I was playing versus uh, legit players and legit PKs, because again, me and Binky are just PVMers. We're not that great. We're probably around the same standard in terms of PK. I can't actually remember killing him though. I'm pretty certain he killed me every time, but it was quite an intense fight. I do like the whip and the dragon defender combo effect. And essentially, when we were going to be like low life points, we we're going to whip out our Darax axe. And that's what I want to show you. And the animations as well with the Darax great axe, when you hold it and when you hit with it, has also changed. It is a lot better. As you saw there, he absolutely wrecked me there. So then we decided to go and find out what sort of hit splats we could achieve with Darax whilst I was on very, very low life points. There seems to be a glitch with combat levels at the moment on the beta. Sometimes you're 138 combat level. Sometimes you're 125 plus 13, etc. And it's 
damage relative obviously to your skill levels but there seems to be a problem and therefore that's why we're in level 17 wilderness so we were able to attack each other now these are some decent hits which i'm hitting on binky i think the highest i got was 734 that one but i know for sure you can hit higher i think you can hit up to 900s to be honest um which i wasn't able to hit at that point let me know what hit splats you gain with Darax. if you want to go into the wilderness with a friend and max out those hits let me know in the comment section very interested to know but yeah it's not bad and the animation again it's definitely going to the old animation with the way you use the Darax great axe very specific to the armor set which Jagex have put a lot of effort in and yeah Jag uh, Binku was not supposed to kill me there that was a good fight moment so I hope you found that first part of this video very useful in terms of looking at the old animations for different special attacks. There was also a Dragon Dagger special attack within there and the Dragon Mace they also look as they used to which is quite nice. Now the old animations, Jax are really trying hard to bring back a lost sector of the community which is PvPers and many people who may click on this, new viewers, you, you maybe are a PvPer and it's great to have you watching some of my videos. Now. Jax have changed these animations or specific ones to the old ones for you guys. Now they've listened to you and the feedback and at first they were like no we're not going to bring back old animations it's too much development time. They've invested all of this development time and to be honest I have a feeling the new boss as well has been pushed back for this so it just kind of proves how much they want you guys to come back to the game and play it again. But the fundamental question is do you want legacy mode? This question I asked my existing subscribers on my previous Legacy Mode video where I delved into the Legacy Mode for the first time, I talked about my first impressions taking a blast from the past. Now, my next video will address this question in terms of reviewing your comments, the 60 plus comments from the network we have here. You guys are absolutely awesome. I'm going to review them all and put the most constructive ones on screen for everybody else to see. So look forward to that video coming up soon. In the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Take care and happy scaping.